violin. I've been teaching violin now for 28 years in the public schools in East Harlem. Straight. In 1991, um, Opus was formed to save my violin program, which had been decimated by budget cuts. You know, when we were planning this about a year ago, we began to think about whether we could fill this room. Through support of events like these, we are able to raise the necessary funds to keep programs like Opus going. We would like to say a profound thank you. All of you are longtime friends, many of you come to this new, but all that you have done is greatly appreciated. I am also delighted to welcome our honorees, Dave Rusin and Paul Gunther. This boat would have to go around the island of Manhattan around 20 or 30 times for me to list all the things that uh, Dave Grusin has done in his, his life. He's a, a fabulous jazz pianist. He is uh, a great Hollywood composer, and he's a great, great friend. We would like to uh, recognize that and thank you and honor you with this very, very heavy piece of glass. <laughs> My friends, it is quite fitting this night that Opus 118 honors this distinguished New Yorker who has unselfishly promoted music and education throughout our entire community. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to present Paul Gunther with the Opus 118 Excellence in Education Award. makes Opus 118 so important and makes me privileged to be here tonight is the fact that we in the private sector are doing something truly extraordinary. product of public school music education and so it was very dear to my heart to see someone in, in the name of Roberta Guaspari fighting for music education in the public schools. I know the power of music and how it transforms young people's lives. I think it's a road map to the world. It allows kids an opportunity to, and their families to embrace uh, something outside of what they normally would not be able to, um, to afford or achieve. And Opus's purpose is to make sure that that happens. Well, I think without it, I wouldn't be the musician that I am. I wouldn't be the teacher that I am. I've been able to travel through Opus. I've gotten into good programs because of Opus. So it's a really important, great part of me. I love watching them perform. It's thrilling to hear the beautiful sound come out and to know that all our hard work pays off. And I think it's really rewarding for them also to be able to express themselves after working really hard and to say what they want to with their hearts.
photographer, so I photograph the kids when they work and I see intimately and get to know the kids and what they're doing and, and what it means for them to have music in their life. Being a human being means that you love music, that you need music, and it can be classical, it can be jazz, it can be rock and roll, it can be uh, hip hop, but it's music. I, I think uh, a young child who doesn't have music is a little bit like a young child on the desert without water. We've had parents come to us and say that the music is helping them in every area of their lives, and that's very exciting. Opus reflects in many ways the, the the heart and soul of a community that's coming into its own. We put the kids right out front and we've offered the community uh, a musical alternative. Tonight is a great night, and I just hope people will support music education, you know, instrumental music for kids who don't have that opportunity. They are special kids. Their music really reminds us of the great job we're doing at Opus 118. But more importantly, I think that it also reminds us that we've got to continue to do it, continue to bring in the funds, and continue to provide the opportunity. We've got to keep on fighting, got to keep on working. And we've got to raise money so that our community music school can uh, gather breadth and strength and, and bring in people from a very large community that Harlem is. I think the idea about doing it on a cruise was awesome. I think it was very, very fun. And I would like to do it next year.